Hey everyone, it's Quinn here, showing off the new features of Bacon at 4.2. I've been working on this release for a little while. It has a lot of really good features in it, a lot of features that have been highly requested, so I hope you enjoy it. Um, jumping right into it, if you notice this button has changed. It is now a sidebar button, so you can unsubscribe and subscribe to the uh, subreddits here. You can pin any subreddit you want to start, if you're subscribed or not, um, and tapping the tile will instantly take you into the subreddit. Uh, you can search the sub subreddit directly by just tapping this button and it fills in the subreddit filter already and then you can search whatever post you're looking for. Um, we'll come back to submit new post and then you'll see that we have the entire sidebar um, of the subreddit beneath here. You can scroll all these links work. You can click them to the websites, to different subreddits, to wherever they go. Um, so the second big feature in this release of Bacon It is this sidebar text is what's rendered in a thing called Markdown, which is a, a formatting language, essentially, that Reddit uses for comments and sidebars and everything. Sidebars have really complicated, these really complicated syntax for Markdown, and the old parser in Baconet really wasn't very good at it. So I rewrote the project um, from the ground up, and I call it Universal Markdown. It's a project that's open source, that's just as well as Baconet. It's on my GitHub, um, where Baconet is. And the goal of the project is to be a Markdown parser for anyone who's using Markdown anywhere in Windows 10. So it's really easy just to create a text box and give it to Markdown and it will render it all nice for you. Um, if you have any interest in Markdown parsing or helping out with the project at all, feel free to go, pack, go by um, slash r slash baconetdev or the GitHub repo and check it out. Um, give me your comments. It's not 100% perfect yet. You'll find some subreddits that lay out fairly poorly. Um, it doesn't do some things, it can't do grids, it can't do super script right now, but these are all features that will come in the future as we have more time to work on it. Um, hopefully it will become pretty powerful. Um, so of course all these links are clickable. The new Markdown parser can do recursive um, tags, which is like uh, bold in a link or italics in bold or whatever it is. Um, it's pretty powerful, so it's pretty cool. We can show you that by looking at the next awesome feature, which is submit a post, which is highly requested. So here's the new submit a post screen. Um, obviously you can put a title, you can put a URL, Oops. you can submit to a subreddit, it defaults to whatever subreddit's open, um, but you can submit to one you subscribe to, or you can submit to any subreddit that may exist. Um, at all. So that's kind of a nice feature. In old bacon it, you had to submit to one you subscribed to, and this you can submit to anything. Let's change it back to bacon it, and I will show you the new self post, uh, self text. So this is using the um, same universal markdown parser doing the formatted preview here. So um, you can see here we have our text box, and here we have a formatted view, and then we have some helpers. So a lot of things in Reddit Markdown is kind of complicated. So to solve that, I've made it so that you can select whatever text you want and hit the bold, for example, and you get bold text. And then you can also see what it did so you can do it in the future by yourself. Um, the same works for italics, um, links, quotes, which is this. So like quoted text, um, code text, bolted lists, uh, numbered lists, ordered lists, and new lines, because new lines are kind of complicated. If you hit enter and then you type more, it doesn't actually break the line. But if you type here and then put your cursor there and hit new line, it does. So the trick is you have to put two spaces on the end of the line to break the new line. Um, but there's a lot of little um, nuances and markdown that make it kind of complicated for users. So hopefully this little bar can help you out and we'll add more uh, more of the formatting features in here as as we get time. Um, so this is another awesome feature of submit a post. Say you accidentally close bacon it while you're submitting a post. Oh no. Never fear. Because we have draft restore. So Every 10 seconds or so, you'll see down here in a second that it will say it restored, um, it, will, it will auto save your post. So if some, you know, some people write really long posts. So if you're writing a long post and the app goes to the background and it gets killed by the OS or crashes or whatever happens, um, it'll be saved here. You just come back into bacon it, reopen the submit post and it will, uh, it'll 
be there for you and then you can discard it also um so new sidebar new markdown parser submit a post um, there's some UI cleanup, so you can see on desktop here with my mouse, so you don't have this ugly sidebar anymore. You have this nice looking sidebar. Um, that was kind of fun to experience how to do that. Um, you'll find a lot of little tweaks around the uh, menu looks a little bit different and stuff, which is some, some cleanup. Um, we'll show off. So another requested feature, I'm on a desktop here, so I'm going to use control mouse, but you can zoom images with the, either pinch to zoom with your fingers or um, a mouse a scroll wheel and control on a desktop um, it doesn't get rid of this bar yet hopefully it will soon but on a phone it gives you a full screen experience so along with that let me try to find a good web page of course it's not a web page Sure. So we have a new feature in web pages that let you go full screen. It simply just removes the little footer on it doesn't remove that. But again on phone, sometimes the uh footer here will be kind of tall, so having that gives you a nice little option to give you more view for what you really care about. Um and then if we go to Windows Phone one last time, we'll see ooh, the stickies are now green. Um, this, so OP, the person who submitted the post, also known as the OP, original poster, uh, their names are now highlighted in the comments. Um, and also, of course, the markdown, the comments is improved because it's using the new markdown parser. So more complicated links and everything render. Um, it just looks better overall. So, um, yeah, those are the major features in this version of Bacon. There's also a few bug fixes and, uh, style feet, um, changes like I was saying but uh yeah I hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this uh, go to slash r slash bacon it and post your feedback if you love it if you hate it um, there's something you think's different if you're good at coding or wanting to try feel free to drop by and grab the code on github and take a swing at it and just if you need any help uh, post in bacon it dev 